Okay, in this section, I like to speak about the HPT, the high pressure turbine. This is a two stage axial flow turbine. Now, this two stage axial flow turbine converts thermal energy to mechanical energy to drive the compressor, which is the HPC, and the accessories, the accessory gearbox and all of its accessories that's mounted on the gearbox, which we'll talk about in a later section. Okay, let's talk about the, uh, the high pressure turbine, the HPT. The HPT, its purpose is to convert thermal energy into mechanical energy. It is mechanically connected to the HPC, the high pressure compressor. It's going to convert that thermal energy to mechanical energy. It's going to drive the compressor. And it's also going to drive through the radial drive shaft, through the transfer gearbox, to the AGB, the accessory gearbox, all of those accessories. Okay, here we have the HPT, the high pressure turbine. And as you can see, these are two individual discs bolted together. The blades that are mounted on these discs mount actually. And as you can see, I can pull these out and they go in the grooves as such. This converts that thermal energy to mechanical energy to drive the HPC. It's a two-stage turbine. Okay, here we have blades, the first stage and second stage blades that go on that HPT rotor, the high pressure turbine rotor. And as you can see, the first stage blades is smaller than the second stage blades. The reason why is because as the hot gas goes downstream in the, hot, the turbine section, that thermal energy gets reduced. So it needs a larger catcher's mitt to catch the remaining amount of energy to create the same amount of work. Also, you'll notice that it has different coatings. The second thing that you'll notice is that the, the cooling holes on this blade is a lot more than the second stage. And these no cooling holes on the front are called nose holes. The ones on the side or in the, in the middle are called gill holes. And the ones on the trailing edge are tail fin holes. And then also you have tip cooling air here, little cooling holes up here. The cooling air actually goes in through the bottom where the root is. This is the root. So air comes in through the bottom, compressor discharge pressure goes through the bottom and goes in through some internal passages inside this blade and gets exited out through the nose hose, gill hose, and the tail fin holes. Okay, let's talk about the uh, first and second stage blade cooling. Here you can see the first stage blade and air coming in up through the root of the, the blade. And um, the, you're saying, where, the, where does the air come from? Well, the air comes from the compressor uh, discharge. Uh, so CDP, compressor discharge pressure, snakes its way up underneath the combustor and into these, up through the disc and into the blades. And it goes through a maze of tunnels, and it goes up through these nose hose, gill hose, and tail fin holes, and also your squiller tip, and it, and it cools the blade. It creates a thin film of cooling uh, air around the, uh, the blade. The uh, squiller tip uh, air that goes out through the top actually does not only cool the, the tip, but it also creates a little bit of efficiency. So the hot gases that go through these blades have to go through the blades and not over and around them. If you have a large gap, you know, you, you have a loss of efficiency. Well, that air escaping up there kind of helps that. Uh, your second stage blade, same thing happens, but it only goes up through the uh, air discharge holes up on the uh, squiller tips. And you wonder, well, why is that? Well, the first stage is closer to the combustor, so it needs a little bit more protection than the second stage. The second stage is further away, it's a lot cooler, so it doesn't need as much uh, cooling air uh, or the air film uh, that, that the first stage does. Okay, this 
uh, gas turbine here is actually in for service, but you can see it has some issues, but it also gives you an idea of what it is. This is your first stage nozzle coming from the combustion zone of the HPT, the high pressure turbine. So your first stage nozzle takes that thermal energy and it's, com it's directing that hot gases onto your first stage blade. Here's the actual second stage nozzles that go into the second stage nozzle assembly. And here you can actually see the honeycomb shroud that rides on the interstage seal. Okay, let's discuss the, uh, the HPT first and second stage nozzle. Okay, the first and second stage nozzle cooling, you, if you look at the first stage nozzle itself, it has a lot of cooling holes and basically, basically compressor discharge pressure that's going around the inner and outer liner. It's going to hit, uh, go up and go inside of this, this nozzle and cool it. Your second stage nozzle is going to get cooled by 11 stage bleed air. Remember those manifolds that I talked about during the HPC section, the high pressure compressor? We're going to take some air off of that manifold, send it, pipe it all the way back down to the second stage nozzle, and we're going to cool it. Here's a, uh, a great picture of the, uh, the HPT first stage blades second stage blades, first stage nozzle, second stage nozzle. And you can see where the hot gases would come in here and go through the first stage nozzle and go into the first stage blade, into the second stage nozzle, into the second stage blade. And you can also see the volume is actually increasing as it gets into the second stage. Thermodynamics of an HPT or any turbine is basically you're going from a, lar a smaller volume to a larger volume. And the reason why is because as you walk away from the hot gas source, right, which is the combustor, you're losing energy. So to catch that remaining amount of energy as you're going downstream, you need a larger catcher's mitt. And that's why these blades here are a lot bigger than the first stage blades. So uh, pressure, will actually decrease, uh, temperature will decrease, but volume will actually increase through the turbine. <laughs>